Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you are new. My name is Christy, and I like to have a good time over here. Now today's video is going to be obviously a bright, fun, more like artsy look. Now of course I love doing the eye tutorials for you, but then I like throwing in a little art piece as well. I don't know, I just love painting on my face. <laughs> it's so much fun, but this one is a little bit more of like a painting. I try to do the watercolor, but that's really hard to do on my face. I, I gotta like figure that one out. Um, but I found a photo on Google, and this was it right here. So that's what I tried to do something similar to. It didn't turn out exactly how I wanted it, but it's still pretty cute. <laughs> but if you guys see how I got this look, then just please keep watching. Alright guys, so getting started, I obviously have a full face already finished because we're going to be playing with color today. So I just wanted to focus on the eyes, and then I'm going to be painting something again on my face. <laughs> I have something fun planned, so I would just... I want the eyes to go good so that this can go good, you know what I mean? But we are going to be doing something a little bit different as well because I'm going to be doing something inspired by Jess here on Instagram. Live for her, absolutely adore her, but she is incredibly talented, but she's been doing this really cool thing lately where she like paints her hand, yeah there we go, to like match her eye look and everything and I am beyond obsessed with it, I just think it's beautiful. It's so artsy, I just love it so much. So we're gonna be doing something similar to that, but also something off there. <laughs> now I absolutely fell in love with this one, so this is what we're gonna be working with today. Something similar to this, I may add a little bit of something extra, but we'll see. <laughs> Why is my battery already half dead? Rude. So I have two favorite colorful palettes. I have these certified Tropical Wonders palette and the Makeup Shack. This is their Rainforest palette. They're both absolutely stunning. I just love each one for different reasons. Like this one has a beautiful black, the white and everything in between. And so does the Makeup Shack one. But this one just has obviously a little bit of extra little oomph to it. And I'm gonna start with shrimp. And I'm gonna start off with like a really light hand and I'm gonna start off in the inner corner. Like I barely have anything on this brush because I really want to go in and make it a little bit more pink in a minute. But I want to have like a salmon-y kind of color and this one is perfect. And now I'm going to go into hibiscus. I'm going to take another T33 from the Makeup Shack and I'm just going to start by blending these two together with just a tiny amount of product on our brush and then I'll build it up. Since I'm not doing any harsh cut crease or anything, I just want to focus on these being like super blended. which is really hard for me to do because I love doing like a really sharp <laughs> cut crease or like half cut crease or something, but this is just gonna be really blown out and pretty because the painting little piece I wanna do is more of like a watercolor-ish something, so I really want it to match and just be really seamless. And then I'm going to go into that second purple. And I'm actually going to take a T82 from the Makeup Shack. It's a lot more just pointed and a little bit more precise. And again, I'm just going to pack this really lightly first to blend these two together because purples are really hard to maneuver. And I'm going to kind of bring it out a little bit. But to blend these together, I am going to use the T33 because it's a little more stiff. So now the top is almost finished, I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing to the lower lash line. And 
And I'm gonna go into Sunray. Now I'm gonna go into the Lunar Beauty highlight. This is in Mercury. And I'm just gonna put this on the inner corner. Just a tiny bit, and then the brow bone. So now this eye is almost finished. I'm gonna go ahead and do the other one off camera and I'll be right back. All right guys, so I just applied the lashes and everything. Now I'm trying something. Oh my God, I got purple down here. Hold up. <laughs> okay, don't mind that. But I just applied the lashes there, the Makeup Shack Dubai's, of course. Now I'm probably looking a little different than before. I'm trying something new with my lights. And I'm thinking it looks pretty good, right? Like it's bright. Let me know what y'all think. <laughs> I'm just, I wanted to try this. I have like the covers off of my lights, so it's like straight. But let me know if it's like a little too harsh. I'm curious. I think it looks pretty good though. It's really bright. I'm excited. But now it's gonna be time for the painting. Now I saw this picture again on Google because I just type in a, um, like a word or whatever and then it'll pull up. So it's a flamingo. So that's where like this color story came from. But it has like a little flecks of yellow and like purple and pink and all that good stuff. So this is what we're gonna try and do today, but we'll see. <laughs> Cause I don't know how I want to do the watercolor yet. I have, um, I don't know. I think I liked it better the other way to be honest. Anyways, all right. That is the completed little artsy piece too. I decided that I couldn't make the watercolor work exactly how I wanted it, so I kind of just did like some little speckle looking things. I don't know, I'm kind of feeling it to be honest. All right you guys, the flamingo is finished. She's pretty cute. What are we gonna name her? <laughs> no, honestly though, it is actually really cute. It is a lot harder than I was expecting it to be to get like the watercolor. So I ended up doing like those little speckle little things with the Suba Beauty Hydro Liners, which actually made it really easy for that. Like you just wet it a little bit and then you kind of do it. Turned out pretty cool. So I really hope you guys did enjoy this tutorial, something fun and bright. Summer's coming up, flamingos are kind of in right now and they're really cute. Same with watermelon. I might have to do a watermelon look next. Let me know what you think. But I really hope you did enjoy this tutorial. If you did, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. I really appreciate it, it does help me out so much. Of course, leave that comment down below. Make sure you subscribe before you leave and hit the little bell notification too so you miss the uploads from me and I will see you in my next video. Bye.